All right, ask Mike and Todd. Todd Rank is back. We're back with another edition right here on the Sports Bash Live on 97.3 ESPN. Does the day are the days are they? Do you realize what day it is today? Is it? Do you know that it's Thursday? <laughs> well, well, I, I, it's hard to just decipher because I, I believe I've worn the same uh, pants and shirts since <laughs> Sunday, so. I do get a shower, but then you just put the same outfit on because I'm not going anywhere. I mean, what are you, 10? <laughs> well, you know, back in the day, I used to wear the same bathing suit all summer. You know, a pair of jeans on virtually, you know, all winter. But I mean, like my girlfriend's <laughs> 10 year old, he wears the same shirt and shorts. I said, You wore that shirt yesterday. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and his answer is, Who's going to see me? There's nobody out there. Right. <laughs> no, it's been, uh, it's been, uh, yeah, every day runs into itself. Who we can? It is funny you said, you know, the weekend's coming. I, there's not much difference. I, I don't. Um, there's no sports. There's certainly no sports. I'm getting excited to watch on Saturday. Now Sunday. you're not. You're not getting into the horse tonight. No, no. You told me about that yesterday. There's just no way. There's no way. I'm going to take time. I get too many other documentaries and Netflix shows I got to watch. What do you, okay, so I, well, I want to get into that in a second, but are you going to watch the Jordan stuff on Sunday night? This Jordan thing, you got to watch this. Well, come on. I have it on every piece of paper I've got in my apartment right now as a <laughs> reminder. I mean, I mean, you run around the house. You got, you got uh, what are they, a little Post-it notes all over your house. I've literally got a Post-it. I, I'll take a picture and send it to you. I got a post-it on the corner of my television that tells me Sunday, 6 uh, Pacific, 9 Eastern. Right, that 9 Eastern time, we get it over here. I thought 9 was a little late. I was actually, because it's a double deucer, right? Yeah, but is that, it, I was going to say, is every episode an hour, or is it is it a half hour, so the first two would be an hour? It's got to be an hour. I mean, you got to yes. give me an hour on that. <laughs> I mean, this thing's going to be explosive. Um, got to. Let me tell you, I've got, you know, I've got it. I've got the whole booklet of the, the championships my dad had bought for me back in the day. I've got the, the 96, 97, 98 championships in a, in a packet. Um, and I, you're, granted, it's on, C, it's on CD. I, luckily, I still have a CD player, but not many people do. <laughs> um, but I'm able, to, I'm able to put it in and take a look every now and then. This is, this is going to be a lot of fun, I think, You know, especially with nothing else to watch right now. Right. My producer tells me they're 60 each. You give me an hour on that, I go from 9 to 10. That means you get me from 10 to 11 on that Sunday night, and that's a little late on the seaside. Yeah, yeah, no, I feel bad for you guys, but uh, again, it's like it's like Sunday. You can you can hear it in my voice. It's Sunday night football, basically. You guys get crushed, and Damn I'm it. watching it from you know five thirty to eight thirty over here. Uh, right, and that Jordan. I mean, he's come out and said that he's afraid that this thing's going to make him come out in a bad light because of how competitive he was and the way he probably talked to some of these guys. But I said, guess what? That's what makes him Jordan. He has nothing to be ashamed of. Well, and I I heard that too, and and that was exactly my same thought. I thought. We know what went into him being so great, and we've already heard it in the past that he would get on his teammates pretty bad. Um, I, I can't imagine what I'm going to watch is going to give me a different perspective of Jordan and how I truly feel about him being the greatest of all time. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to – I mean, did you hear the Stackhouse stuff the other day that he regrets playing with Jordan and with the Wizards? I heard that, but I didn't hear the reasoning why. Why was that? Well, it was like, look, I looked up to him, and then I got to play with him, and, you know, he was kind of a jerk. And, you know, Doug Collins was the coach at the time of the Wizards, and that he felt that Collins felt that he had let Jordan down a little bit with the Bulls. So instead of running things through Stackhouse when the team was better, that he ran stuff through Jordan. And Stackhouse said, look, by that point, I was a better player than Jordan was. But Collins kind of you know, felt bad about the way things went down with Jordan in Chicago, and they ran the stuff through him. I mean, I can understand that. But, but Gil, I'm, here's the hard part for me. If I'm on a team with Jordan, I don't care if Jordan's 60 years old. Ooh. I, I think I'm still deferring to Jordan. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Maybe that's just me being a fan. But, I, you know, Jordan still had it when he was with the Wizards at a level. Again, granted, he was older. But he still was making end-of-game shots to win games. I mean, that Wizards team would have been nothing without him. Even with Stackhouse being a good player on that team, they weren't winning games. And so, you know, I don't know. You know, that's a tough one to say. I, I, I'll allow Stackhouse to say whatever he wants. I'm not going to disparage him for it. You're going to allow him to say that. What are you, the president? You're going to let these guys run the, their states the way they want to? 
No, well, that's apparently changing today, by the way. I don't know if you've heard the update on that. but I don't want to yeah. know. I don't want to know. <laughs> I got a DVR'd. <laughs> apparently, uh, everybody's getting control again. So we'll, we'll see. L.A. may not have any restaurants open. But Jersey may have restaurants open next week. We'll see what happens. Uh, actually, you know, I don't know about you. Uh, do you have a mask? Are you, like, uh, at the point where you're out and about rocking a mask right now? Well, can I tell you this? And it's a disappointing story. <laughs> you know, so I had a – I was in, in talks with a, a lo lovely young lady out here. Here we go. And she, <laughs> and she happened to have a job as a respiratory therapist. Go figure. Right. And in, in the time of everybody wants a ventilator, this and that. So she works in a hospital, but she doesn't work with the virus patients. She works on the other side of the hospital. But she had in her possession about a dozen N95 masks. Right. Those are the number one top level. You know, so, it's funny you say that because, yeah. uh, and I don't mean to cut you off, but last week my producer Josh was wearing his boxer shorts as a mask. And I said, yeah, I don't know, you can't go boxer shorts. And he said, well, I never used them before. They were brand new out of the pack. He pulled his head through the leg and then wrapped it around his head. So a gentleman out there heard that and said, I can't allow you to do that. And he brought us the N95 masks. Well, there you go. I mean, I don't even know how that guy was able to to obtain those. They're so hard to come Well, by apparently right he now. was a nurse or something. Yeah, that's the only way you're going to get them. And, and let me tell you, I mean, they suffocate you because they're so good. Um, but they are really legit. And what happened, I went for a jog here the other day, and I put it in my pocket just because I was jogging. You know, you're taking the breathing, you can't. But just in case I needed the mask at any point, and, of course, it fell out of my pants. I never felt it, and it was gone. Gone. So I, I need a mask to get in the grocery store out here. You can't get any anywhere. Same here. Yeah, so luckily I called up a buddy, and he said, hey, I got an extra mask. And actually we have a friend out here that's making masks, out of her house to be sold for people who need a mask. There you go. So, yeah, it, I was not needless to say, I got a mask. It's not great. I mean, it's one of these real cheap masks, but at least it covers my face, you know? Yeah, well, uh, my girlfriend's mother made us masks and, and mailed them to us. So, uh, we got some. So, and I got the N95. That's it, I have one in the car. I got one here. So, I got a couple uh, devices that I can get around, but it's great. I was in a, a place today. And I'm wearing a mask. The two people working were wearing a mask. And one guy walked in without the mask. And I looked at him like, come on, man. Like, this is the world we're living in now. Where's your mask? Well, let me tell you, when I'm jogging and I'm, I'm running down the road, if I see somebody 100 yards away, I take a beeline for the other side of the street. I don't even come close. Yeah. I don't trust anybody anymore. You can't. No. If they're not wearing a mask, I'm sorry. You're not coming within 50 feet of me. All right. So... Uh, what? There's no sports at all. What are you watching? I mean, right now, and it's funny because I never do the Netflix thing. I know everybody's big into all that well, stuff. Well, I said without I actually, the sports right now, I feel like a yeah. normal person. Like exactly. I have some normalcy in my life that like people talk about these shows that they watch, and now I can actually add to the conversation. Where before I'm like, eh, I've, I've never seen that. Yeah, And people are like, well, you've never seen this? And I'm like... Dude, do you know what I do for job? I, I, I every night I have something I have to watch. Yeah, no, it, really, it, it there's almost a freeingness of this, in the sense that you feel pretty locked in when you know there's games every night and you've got to watch those games. I, you know, we could talk an hour about Tiger King. I mean, that's that's everybody. You went to that, that Tiger King. I mean, I was the first one I watched. Uh, I mean, that's, that's disappointing. I will not go down that road. I am not. They are not getting me on that Tiger King. I will not do it. Wow, you have yet to watch that show. No, I would. Fe I refuse to. If not, I have yet to watch it. I refuse. Well, here's what's happened. I watched, That was my first one on Netflix. Again, the young lady who had the mask, she also had the Netflix account. Uh, so, I mean, you, so you really had a Netflix and chill. Yeah, I literally. <laughs> that's exactly <laughs> what it was. And now I've got that Netflix locked into my, Ooh, my television. Oh, she gives me I that code. <laughs> so I'm in. But we watched one episode, and let me tell you, it started at 6 p.m. We, we, I wasn't done until 4 a.m. I couldn't stop. On that uh, on that Tiger King? I'm telling you, I, look, as much as you want to look at these people, they don't look like real life. If they're a hot mess, we all know that. But it is the car crash that you can't stop watching. I'm I mean, out. it's I am I'm, out. I'm telling you, it is unbelievable. And then I just watched a TMZ special on it the other night. 
right? They there give you like, that as well. What really happened with the Tiger King? They give you exactly. The, I mean, come on, it's too much. I know. No, that it's, guy it's has crazy. got way too much notoriety. There was a White House briefing the other day, and a damn reporter asked the President of the United States <laughs> if he was going to pardon the Tiger King. I heard that. I actually saw it. But you know what the interesting piece of that was? Our president acted like he didn't know about it, and then he, he referenced the guy as Joe Exotic, and nobody in that room had used the word exotic. <laughs> and I thought, I got a feeling this president has seen that Tiger King. <laughs> you believe he's sitting there watching that uh, Joe Exotic? <laughs> There's no question. There's no question. No, I am it. out on the Tiger King. Out. <laughs> You saw. You told me you watched. Uh, what was the other one? Ozark. I uh, well, Ozark. I watched the first two seasons, and then we went through the third season like a hot knife through butter. So I haven't seen any of the Ozark. Oh, uh, you got to get into that. I mean, I hope by the next time. Well, tomorrow by five thirty, you're not going to be able to watch them. But by sometime next week, I'd like you to start the conversation off with Gil. I've done those Ozarks. Let's go. No, I'm gonna. I plan on that this weekend. I mean, and I'll tell you one show. You and I, number. you and I watched Breaking Bad together. Well, we watched it after the fact. Right, didn't we, we didn't see it in its first run, but we watched it on demand at the same time. We were watching that when you were working here, and I'm telling you, this Ozark is every bit as riveting as that Breaking Bad. Well, I'm a big Jason Bateman fan too. Ooh, right. Big Laura Jason Linney's Bateman. his wife in this. She's okay. I mean. She's not, you know, she plays a, she's a very good, she plays a very good character, but, you know. Well, and, and you know what the one show that I did jump on to, and it, it, I was going to say it was, it's mind numbing, so you don't have to think about anything, but it took a little time to get into, but then I've really enjoyed it, is that Shit's Creek. Right, that, uh, well, that was on, what's it called? Uh, yeah, it, it was to, on, it, what was it on, the WB? Now, my producer, he dropped you on that, but you don't have to drop it for that. It's a, it, it's on regular television. That's the uh, name of the show. <laughs> It's S C H I T T apostrophe S. Correct. Yes. Correct. You're the second person who did that. Last week, somebody else said they were watching that show, and he went to the drop button. <laughs> hey, he's on top of it. Good job. Yeah, I don't think PG but, would have got that. No, 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 no. There's no question. That was a good, but they, it's a cute little show. And again, you don't have to think too hard about that one. It's just kind of funny. Um, What's that you know, on? Like that's on. Uh, Destination America or something? What the heck is that on? Oh, well, it's on Netflix now. Right, but what was it on its first run? What was that on? Oh, I, that I don't know. You're right, though. Somebody told me it was on, you know, one. And, and actually, it didn't really make it too far. But then now it's becoming everybody's jumping on it because they're on Netflix and they're watching it. Yeah, I, I mean, I remember hearing about that because oh, it was on Pop TV. That's what it was on, Pop. Oh, Jesus, who watches Pop? <laughs> exactly. So nobody <laughs> they, heard about they, it. they got a run. They got a second life going on Netflix. There's no question about that. There's no question. All right, so I want you to – you got to get into that Ozark. You got to get into that. I would, I'll jump on that this week, and we'll, we'll convene on that next week, and then I'm going to look at a couple of – oh, I will tell you the one you should jump on, the documentary, I Am a Killer. Um, and there's a bunch of different episodes with um, different inmates and their stories, and you get to really hear – whether you believe they did it or if they did do it, were they forced into doing it? Yeah. All different types of things. It gets your mind working. It's right, I really Now, you were big on that. Who was the guy from uh, Wisconsin? Oh, making a murder. Yeah, you believe that guy was innocent. Avery. I mean, I'm sorry to this day. I, and it's not that I don't love the guy. I don't, I don't necessarily love him. But I'm just telling you, if you watch that, you don't tell me that those cops in Wisconsin – are corrupt in that little town. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, it was embarrassing. And and still, the kid, his younger, uh, what was it, his nephew, <laughs> no business being in prison. No business. All right. So uh, there we go. Ask Mike and Todd. It's another edition. We'll do it again tomorrow. I don't know that we talked about anything. Uh, by the way, the NFL drafts a week from tonight. Do you care at all? Um, I'm not a big draft guy. I know you are more so than me. I was going to ask you. Do you, is there any chance Cincinnati trades that number one pick? I don't think so, but uh, I think the big, you know, this whole Tua, you know, the Dolphins did tank for Tua. They weren't the worst team. They got the fifth pick, and now they have a chance to get him, and we'll see if they end up taking him. I mean, he, I mean that's unfortunate that kid does that to his hip. Well, do you go Herbert, or do you go Tua first? You'd probably see more of Herbert than I have out there on that west side. I mean, I'm not a huge Tua guy. I think he's going to get hurt too much. Well, and it's funny. I lean to Tua over Herbert, even though I've seen him, and Herbert's the quintessential. He's the prototypical Brady-esque 
quarterback, but I don't know that that works Ooh. in the future of the NFL. Right. Well, that Brady, I mean, that's going to be another interesting story, too. I mean, the win totals came out from Vegas for this year, right? They go Bucks nine, Patriots eight and a half. Ooh, <laughs> that's a great number. <laughs> right there. I mean, they give it to you right there on the number. Wow. I mean, if Brady doesn't get hurt, I like the over. And I think the Patriots are over no matter what, because I just think that system works no matter who the uh, You don't care who the quarterback is. I think they get nine wins in New England. Again, look who they're playing, too. They get the Jets twice. They get the, you know, the, the I mean, the Dolphins will improve. And, and of course, Buffalo's improved. But I just, I'm not going to, until they show me they can't win nine games, I'll take the over on that. All right. Ask Mike and Ty. We'll do it again tomorrow, 530, right here on the Sports Bash. All right, man. See you. All right, buddy. Good to catch up. Yep, we'll do it again tomorrow right here on the Sports Pass Live on 97.3 ESPN. We call it Ask Mike and Todd. You guys can fire questions our way. Any questions you send our way, we will throw up the flagpole. And if not, we'll just kind of talk about whatever kind of hits us.